Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, welcome to the Royal Goop Show with King Cletus. Okay, I'm looking up 100% guides. I'm gonna just take this. I'm gonna about win the game here. Uh, I can't breathe fire underwater. What kind of stupid fantasy land is this? Oh, okay, you did find a new area. Yeah, that took all of two seconds. <laughs> we just had to go up. Uh, and that was it. Huh, okay, so, okay, I think the turtle guy has to go yeah. towards the door. Yeah, I don't need a walkthrough. No, I do. I don't need a walkthrough, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, insensitive jokes are the greatest. <laughs> uh, people are just, they have different humors. What can I say? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, there's two boxes. Do you think insensitive jokes are funny to you, personally? Yeah, we've talked about this on Royal Games so many times. <laughs> oh. We've talked Yay. about PC culture sensitivity. Oh, I'm not even bit. talking PC culture. I'm talking about legit, not like, not like things I don't even think people should be offended by. I'm talking about like, like, Edgelord humor where people just say the most offensive shit they can think of. Uh, I, I think it can be funny. Yeah, I think it can be funny too. Like, I, I don't know if this counts, but. George Carlin uh, thing was goofy. George Carlin? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh. I, I don't know if this falls under what you're talking about, but hey, Ellie, you know what the best thing. Thing about having oh. sex with 24 year olds is? What? There's 20 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni. Yeah, have you ever heard that joke before? No. Yeah. Well, what do you mean by edgelord jokes? An edgelord. Someone who's like, Yeah, what's up? I know how to say bad words. <laughs> what up, you fucking- No! <laughs> okay, you know what's really funny? Okay, this is it's a little- edgelord. This is a little off, off subject, but it has to do how with edgelords. How dare you? So, I- I went to, to a mall recently to try and get some new clothes. Yeah? I, well, I got some new undies. I got in their checkerboard Ooh, pattern. That's hot. Yeah, they're super sexy. Can you the, show them to any ladies? Uh, uh, first things first, I want to show them to Alex, my roommate. Nice. Do some twerking for him. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'm not even kidding. I've been seriously thinking of it. Hey, Alex, check out what I got. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so... Hi. Oh, you need to get into the... Uh, you need to go through that gate thing that gives you the... The better fire. In fact, actually, I know. I actually know where to go now. So, oh, um, return home. Uh, no, don't return home. Okay. Uh, I, I, I know what to do now. So, um, I did because I had to look up a walkthrough. Uh, so I actually decided to go into hot topic. Okay. Yeah. Have you, when's the last time you went into a hot topic? Um, maybe like a year ago. But before that, it was a long time ago. See, here's the funny thing. I went in there and I was like. Huh, do I want to look for clothes in Hot Topic? I, I hear people always say that this is like where edgelords shop. Oh. It's like dark and yeah. stuff. Do, would I find what I want here? I don't know. I go in and there's so much Disney stuff for really? sale. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I was just in Spencer's. I, I, I went into Spencer's first. Have you ever been to Spencer's? Yeah, I, I like that place. I like Spencer's, especially if you go into the far back with all, where all the dirty sex toys are. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, <laughs> but um, I so I went to I, I went to Spencer's first, and they, they got some geeky stuff in there. But uh, I go into Hot Topic, and it feels like almost the same store, just less risque. Yeah. And I'm like, when I bought my my clothes, I talked to the cashier woman, and I'm like, hey, so why is it that people always say that this place is for edgelords and it's dark? Because that is not the vibe I'm getting here. She's like, oh yeah, that's how it used to be, but they've recently, like, really changed it. It's now oh. a bit more family-friendly. And oh. I'm like, oh wow, yeah, tell me about it. It's it's like how music used to be on MTV, and now yeah. it's not, but they still call it MTV. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, it's, it's, some things just change, and yeah. people still talk about how it used well, to be so like hot topic was really popular back in the mid to late 2000s when the emo phase was, like emo culture was huge oh yeah so like yeah it was pretty popular amongst like people in the emo subculture fuck, fuck, wrong fuck, way fuck, wrong fuck, way no, no go backwards no. you fucking no. moron <laughs> Damn it. okay where is it it's that one. it's like left By right the there turtle yes wait the the box yes Right below you, basically. Right below me? Yes! What the hell are you- Right oh, there! I didn't see right it. fucking below you! <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Okay. To the left of the staircase, Good. like right there. The left of the turtle guy. Yes. Okay, let's try it one more time, oh, then we dicks. can leave this place. Okay. Anyways, you're you were still saying? be missing one. You'll only be at six out of seven. Like, what are some of the most popular emo bands from that time period? Because I, I am not very familiar with emo culture. The most popular? Yeah, like, what, what, what would you know? Um, I don't know. There's a lot. Like, one of the big mainstream ones was, like, My Chemical Romance. The okay. use was pretty popular. Um, one that's, like, I, I wouldn't even really call them emo, but was more, like, emo adjacent like fallout boy was pretty popular but it was like it's it's not really emo music hmm. um i don't know bring me the horizon was a little bit like more post hardcore like dance gavin dance is pretty popular um is the fray was the fray no, emo band? no no see that I, I i don't know anything oh, so okay. no. <laughs> i don't know shit so um what about see. the guys what about panic dance. at the disco yeah, I was. Just, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, Panic at the Disco. Um, there are just so many. Seosin. Uh, Where is that one? How do the fucking? Yeah, see, you're missing one. Oh, I know what to do. I know how to get that chest. I'm not supposed to bring a turtle over there. I'm supposed to stand on the switch, and then shoot the flames from afar. Oh, it can be cast. I solved the puzzle. Lol. <laughs> XD gamer. Yes. Nice. Sweet. All right, we can finally get out of here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's just like a bunch. Under oath. Uh, Under oath. I've never even heard of that one. Yeah. It, I don't know, man. <laughs> but yeah, like, can you think of any other things like that? Stores, channels, whatever that that are not what they used to be. Hmm. Not what they used to be. Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. What do you mean? No, you just got older, Jen. Your tastes have changed. But yeah, cartoons change over time. I don't know if Jen will get picked up by the mic or not. She, she, she said Cartoon Network, and she's like, no. <laughs> you got Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab in the 90s. Now you got Teen Titans Go! With their shitty waffle jokes. Let's see. Waffles, waffles, waffles. There's just one episode where all they say is waffles mm. the whole time. It's super funny. <laughs> yeah. There's other things that have changed. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't fucking know. You fucking know. Yeah. All right, so I guess on to the next level. Do you, do you want to take a turn to keep playing? Is your hand going to be okay? I mean, if it's nothing super challenging, I don't care. If you're want. If you going to look at stuff, then sure. Oh, actually, I, I was just going to look at one quick thing. Um. One quick thing. <laughs> oh, so uh, actually, here's another thing for the pa that I read about about the past decade. Yeah. So there are a bunch of movies that were supposed to come out this past decade, but they didn't. Uh, some of them include... Uh, there was an, there's been an Uncharted movie in talks to be made for such a long time, but it still hasn't been made. And it's actually... Hey, what's up, money tits? Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few Do more... Do it! Jump. You know what I freaking hate? Ooh. I hate it when people are like... Like, really need you to do a favor, and, and instead of just asking you directly, they say, Oh, if only I had somebody to help me with this. Oh, do people Content? actually do that? I, I think some people do. Or like when someone's like... Or like when I've someone, seen it in cartoons, but I've never seen it in real life. Or like when someone says like... When someone goes like, Huh, that's funny. And then they just wait for you to respond, but you don't feel like responding, and they're like, <clears throat> I said, that's funny. Fucking tell me! Don't wait for me to respond! What? That's my Oh, pet. dude, yeah, people do that all the time. That's one of my pet peeves. When they're, like, reading something, they're like, ha 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 ha! And I'm like, what's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Mean heads. What a turd blossom. All right, looks like we got a bunch of asses to kick this time. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. Wow. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches there. You got it. That is a much <laughs> Didn't oh, expect oh. that voice. <laughs> That's a much older voice. <laughs> that reminds me of <laughs> it, never mind. I I talk about that show enough. You just fucking jump what? Take a guess. My little pony. There's a moment like that in the series finale of that show where it's like it's a little kid, 
and you, it it's a boy I think with eyelashes, and it's like, what do you think about this? It's like, Jesus, That's, that sounds like a grown ass man. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> um, fourteen, fourteen what? Uh, fourteen enemies you gotta beat. What? Yep, you gotta defeat enough enemies in the area, and then uh, I unlock it. Yeah. So so yeah, movies of the last decade. Uh, so. Apparently, there's an Uncharted movie in the works right now, and you'll never guess who's going to be Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake. Tom Holland, the guy who plays Spider-Man right now. Wow. They're, they're, they're going to have a young Nathan Drake, like kind of an origin story, I guess. Okay. It's going to be pretty different from the games, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, Tom Holland's not my first pick, but... No. I guess the... Uh, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> post-retirement life <laughs> coming out of retirement you know what's funny you say that he was actually in the ratchet and clank movie what yeah he plays a character in the animated ratchet and clank movie really that movie did so bad though yeah did you hear about that yeah it well, made it so even, little it money it didn't even play in like normal theaters right? no it did it just oh, it nobody did. saw it oh. i don't know why i was curious to well, see it okay so one thing i knew like that i heard that was terrible about it was that in order to get all the references, you had to play the game. And in order to get all the game references, you had to see the movie. Like, there were parts in the game where they would refer to things that you'd only know about in the movie, and vice versa. Well, I mean, the, I, I, I played the, the Ratchet & Clank PS4 game, and they would just, for instead of, like, new cutscenes, for the most part, they would just take clips from the movie and play oh. them. Okay. I, I was not a big fan of that, but Ooh. it's... They were... Oh. Whoa. I thought I could headbutt him. The the two were based off of each other. They were interconnected. I see, I but see. Yeah, the, the game was was pretty solid, but yeah, I heard the movie sucked. <laughs> Suck a big pee pee. Um, but uh, yeah. So apparently they've been trying to make a Last of Us movie for a while now. Oh yeah. I don't think they can top the game though. And here's the thing about making a movie based off of a game that's so cinematic. I just don't think it can be topped because when you have a video game that's like a really, really long movie, trying to make a movie about that is just not going to be as fun to, to, as enjoyable. What's up, nerd? You know what I'm saying? Like, The Last of Us is such sure. a... It's like pl taking part in a cinematic story yourself. Like, you are the one who controls it. Yeah. That's something a movie can oh, never sorry. replicate. So. Money tits. <laughs> Ooh, a submarine minigame, huh? I get to drive a boat? Oh, it's a shark submarine. Hell yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, what? I can't do anything, though. Oh, maybe it's not a minigame. Maybe it's just a transportation. Well, I saw gems on the ground. Maybe you gotta collect something to power up to destroy those sharks? What the fuck? I, I have no idea what's that's going on right now. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I think it was just a transport. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe it was an optional transport. Hmm. Like, if someone's too bad. Hmm. I'm gonna find out. Oh yeah, maybe you can go down there, you just... Oh yeah, maybe it was just like... You suck at this game! <laughs> Would you like to get past it for free? Oh. Oh, no, I, I don't right. know if you can. Well, here you go, anyway. <laughs> um... Of course, I picked up the controller and it's like, WATER LEVEL! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. But yeah, do you think a Last of Us movie could even be good? Because I, I compare, sure. compared to the game, I just don't see how they could top it. It could be I, good, but... It could be great. It could be good, but... but it probably won't be, because they don't have the budget for it. Uh, I mean, I don't know, It's be, it would be made, made by Sony and they have a lot of money, so... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. The, when you have a game that's already so cinematic, trying to make a, a movie based off something that's so deep and... I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe it'll be awesome, but uh, I don't think it'll ever be topped. Poisonally. Oh. Poisonally. 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 Poisonally, I don't think so. Is that a Joyzy accent? I don't know. People say a it? bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. What? Next time on Royal Goose. This is my way to try and... This is my awkward, cringy way to end the episode. <laughs> By pretending I'm mad at Elliot when really I'm not. Hit the stop button, Elliot. That's your job. I can do it! I can do it!